Hello guys, today I want to show you another new Laravel feature released in recent version 11.23, which is skip middleware for queue jobs. And by the way, if you haven't used queues or configured them on live server, I will give a few of my resources at the end of this video. But with this version, we have a new syntax for this. So not sure if you're aware, but there's such a thing called job middleware. In the queue job, you may specify a separate class of middleware, like rate limited middleware, for example, create that. It's not the same as route middleware, it's a separate class. It's a job middleware, which you then assign in the middleware function of a queued job. Or as the author of this pull request of this feature, Kennedy Tedesco shows here, this was a typical inline middleware in his projects. If statement, callback function, and then next. So with this new syntax, you have skip middleware. A bit more elegant, you don't need to create any separate classes like job middleware or something. You just do skip when and then condition that returns boolean true or false. A typical example is this. You put a job into a queue and then by the time that job is executed, some conditions in the database may have changed by then. So the job for a particular user, for example, may be irrelevant by that time because that user may be deleted or suspended or something like that. So this is why we need extra conditions in the queue job because they may be executed much later than they were dispatched. An example comes from Twitter, actually, from Aniket Magadom. I do suggest to follow him as well for many tips on Laravel. And this is his example. I've changed a few pieces, but the logic is the same. You do some action related to a user, and then in the handle method of the job, that user may be with different state. And that is where skip when is useful. Let me demonstrate the same example in my PHP storm, a queue job, just with a different syntax, by the way, in the constructor. So kind of a side note, instead of doing constructor and assigning this user, you can do that shorter with PHP 8 by providing protected or public and then type hinting that it is a model. And then everywhere you need to dispatch that job. For example, I created a route for it, dispatch a job with the user as a parameter. Now, is suspended is a function in the user model, which may be any condition actually, is just a shorter method, kind of a getter method that is calling the same property from the same model. And in the database, we have three users seated with is suspended zero. So for example, we launch that URL, I will refresh that in the browser, which puts the job into the queue, which does not execute them immediately. In our case, queue driver is database. So in the table of jobs, if I refresh it, we have three jobs scheduled, but not executed yet. Of course, on the live server, it may be almost immediately, but let's simulate that scenario of them executed a bit later. And by that time, for example, user is suspended by some admin panel, another queue job or something like that. So let's change that in the database. And now if we run queue work in the PHP storm or in terminal, three jobs are executed. So if we refresh the table of jobs, nothing here. And the job should have logged into Laravel log sending promotion to user. Let's see what's inside Laravel log. We have two lines, not three. So by the time the queue job is executed, user ID two is suspended by then. So that user doesn't need any promotion. So yeah, I think it's a great new addition for the syntax for short condition of skipping something. There are a few more things, seven upvotes from the GitHub community. What do you think? Will you use it or you prefer some kind of other syntax to check for conditions inside of the jobs? And as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, if you haven't used queues much, we have two courses on Laravel daily. So if you search for queues on the courses page, the older course is queues in Laravel back from 2021. It's a video course, but it's mostly still relevant, not that updated. The core thing is still working the same. But then later we created another course in 2023, practical queues on live server. So how do you configure supervisor, Redis, Horizon, and all the configuration around that. So there's another practical course, in this case, text-based course. And I will link both in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.